Well, you know, being in the restaurant business my entire life, I've always been very community focused. And when the fire started in Northern California, both the Lake County fire in 2016 and also the Wine Country fire in 2017, my instincts kicked in and I just had to start to do what I feel like I could do best and that's cook for people. So in the 2016 Lake County fires, I just grabbed my knife bag, I hopped in the car, and I drove up to the Calistoga Fairgrounds, and I just jumped in the kitchen right away. I didn't make a phone call, I didn't organize anything, I just went up there and just started to just cook away, and we, I did it for two days. The 2017 Wine Country fires were a whole different animal. Uh, it was uh, one of the largest wildfires in the state of California's history. We started um, just started making phone calls, and our first phone call was to uh, the local, uh, you know, firefighting organizations in Southern Marin County, because uh, I know they were deeply active. Um, all of the uh, uh, firefighting troops, and there were seven houses in Southern Marin County that were actively uh, acting as one big fire troop. And uh, I just jumped in right away, and <laughs> I went to Costco, and I uh, I bought all the ingredients to make a beautiful uh, chicken white bean chili for 150 firefighters. I did it by myself, I did it in about 10 hours. So the film Uncrushable really talks about the heart and soul and the spirit of the community that rallied around uh, everyone to make sure that everyone was safe and comfortable and had a place to sleep and had a warm meal. And everybody was jumping in. There were so many different philanthropic efforts happening at the same time, including the Red Cross, who served almost 200,000 meals between themselves and their partners in about a month. It's an amazing organization and they always have their eyes and their feet on the ground and they know how to distribute not only uh, food and clothing and shelter but also love to a community that is so hard hit. The Grateful Table was, uh, was uh, hands down one of the uh, biggest events I've ever put together in my career. We wanted to uh, do something and make a statement uh, to not only tell the members of the community in Northern California but also tell the world that uh, California is here to stay and we're going to come back uh, uh, faster and better than ever and uh, it all starts with um, a moment in time where we could just sit across the table from each other and look each other in the eye and, and be grateful for what we do have. We lost a lot. It hurt. It hurt a lot. Uh, but as soon as we can you know, realize that the power of love is uh, way more important than any tangible things that we actually lost and everything's replaceable, um, the healing process can start.